stories you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. First of all, I want to point out that we reported earlier on the rumor about the price point being $250, which we were wrong. It's $299. U.S. That means the, US. Uh, there's, uh, it was $250 European, £250. Pounds. So I think that's where we got in the Okay. Is, so. so, okay. So, so we got like, mixed up. Then. You know what that makes it? That makes it $399 Canadian. Isn't that just See, a dude, kick in the dick? The currency, <laughs> like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, right? Like, Isn't this other just the currency exchange just bombed, bombed, dude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they do. And I bet Australia is going to get bent uh, backwards. Yeah, I think it was like four ninety nine price tag somewhere. Jeez, dude. Like, uh, Australia, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> they don't ever take that into, like, factor. I can't even imagine. But I'm sure it's different there. Like, stuff's worth well, more. Well, you know, I think it's at that worth point. Worth less. It's, uh, what, two... 280, 280 euros, 200 pounds, something like that. So, but like, I kind of used to know, like, because I used to order him stuff off of a European website, so I kind of used to know the exchange rate for American to European and euros and stuff like that, but I can't remember now, dude. I used to be able to, like, tell because I would order, like, t shirts and, like, necklaces and shit. <laughs> right. Um, <coughs> I don't know, there, there's just a lot of things about the. Switch that. Uh, I I love. I can put it this way. I, I I really can't echo more of my sentiments than yours, even though there is definitely your sentiments as far as positivity. There's I'm not saying more, there's a lot more. Eh. <laughs> I'm not saying that they're not making mistakes, and I'm not completely drinking the entire like. I'm not drinking the Kool Aid, like from all their demonstrations on their videos and stuff like that, like what they did with the Wii U, half the shit they did in the Wii U demo before it never came out, came to fruition. it never came to fruition. So I'm not necessarily taking everything to heart that I've seen. But so far what they've given us is enough to be like, that's better than the Wii U was. Well, just because it's marginally better doesn't mean it's a good thing, doesn't mean it's like... Yeah, but it yeah. might be the push that they need to finally get a little more on the map than that's the thing. What they like, are right now, a little more on the map, but it's still the exact same thing as far as what the Wii U was back in 2012 as to what this is going to be in 2017. There's no difference. They're rushing the same type of kind of dated technology to market so they can capitalize on certain things, and I just don't think that's a good idea. I, I agree that they should have waited until probably around holiday 2017 to release this, when they had a stronger lineup when, to release when it, with. Yeah, when you can release 30 games as opposed to, like you said, 4 when we were talking earlier. Uh, I could have swore it was 11, but you're right, it's 4. So, like, and granted, yeah, most consoles don't release with a lot of games. I remember the 64 released with 2, you know? So, granted, things can work out, but, like, the 64 true. was the start truly of Nintendo's problems in my opinion. Yeah, they hit lightning in the bottle with their handhelds and the Wii, but after that, what, what else do you have is failures. True. Are, are they <laughs> are they banking on momentum, you think? You think it's gonna be a slow momentum <sighs> buildup? Like, they don't think it's gonna be a good start off? Cause I mean, who releases a console in March? Honestly, <laughs> you know, like, cause like, I mean, I'm not trying to bash on them. Like, no, I am no, excited I, for this. I, I, but it I, seems kind of out I of love, left field. I love Nintendo IPs. I love Nintendo brand. I love playing Nintendo games. And I've been railing this for the last 10 years. I play Nintendo games. I just don't like playing them on Nintendo hardware. Handheld or otherwise, even though their handhelds are great, I, I still don't like them. But, like, I think Nintendo, as opposed to what you were saying, I think they're just in a bubble. And I don't think it's necessarily arrogance by them being ar arrogant on purpose, but I think there's a uh, unknown arrogance to them that they have about in that company and how they do things that is biting them. Like, basically, there's a lot of they're videos. Stubborn, they're Well, not even stubborn. They're just seriously clueless about how other things work, and they shouldn't be. Like, I'm sorry, their competition, they should know it inside and out. And you've That's seen true. the videos. We don't use... PSN or Xbox Live. Nobody here does. Why would we know anything about them? Okay, Nintendo. 
they, they're the only blueprints on the map for console online functionality. You have no idea how any of it works. Like your function, on, like speaking of the online functionality of the Switch, like I'm gonna hold my breath because every online functionality that Nintendo's had, Wii, Wii U, has been garbage. Shit. It's true. Fucking I, garbage. I completely agree with you because I was completely, dude. I was so looking forward to Smash Brothers online, like playing against people all over the world. And it's shit, dude. You have to completely there, yeah. change your whole style of gaming because it's slow and laggy and unresponsive. And, but that's fu honestly though, uh, it's to Nintendo's credit, that's fighting games online for the most part. There's not too many yeah, fighting games. Yeah, from I saw on, even like on Xbox, Mario even on Kart PlayStation, stuff like that. But from what I've even seen, like the online on their handhelds have been stronger than on their consoles. No, I don't know. That's why Nintendo. Did what they don't you see what they're doing? <laughs> they are they are transitioning their whole brand of video game making to handheld devices. There's not going to be a 3DS successor because it is the Switch. There's well, not going to be a Wii U successor because it is the Switch. And from here on out, we're going to see the Switch, and we're going to see the Switch next, and we're going to see the Switch third, and we're going to whatever you know, like that's. Their strength, though, like they no, that, that's I, I'm not saying that's that. not a bad idea. I'm just saying that counts me out for practically everything because I've never given one iota about mobile gaming, no matter how old and cool or gay, whatever, whatever I device you want to. Do. I do. I remember when the Game Boy came out. I remember when the original Game Boy came out. I could not care less when it came out. Oh, I loved the. I, I loved was the original four. Game Boy. Dude. I was four. Okay. I loved the original Game <laughs> Boy, and then up until about it's about. Game Boy Advance is when I kind of petered out. I mean, I had a DS and there was a Dragon Ball Z game on it that I played, but and after I'm, that, I haven't. I mean, I didn't get a 3DS. And I'm I not kind of want one. Well, well and uh, you know, I'm not gonna go out of my way. Nintendo's business practices with their handhelds have been pretty shady as of late too. The last iterations of their new DS and their new 3DS lineup has been pretty bunk, yeah, especially when there's only been one exclusive game made. For the new 3DS console that came out what a year ago, I don't know what they want. I don't know what they're doing, like flooding the market with stuff, like. And that's what they're gonna do with the Switch. They're gonna go the new Switch, and it's gonna have uh, stuff where you have to. There's gonna be games where you can only play on that new Switch hardware. And that's I don't that's, know, I don't that's know what they're gonna do. They've been doing it with their handhelds, and it's it yeah, hasn't bite, it hasn't bitten them in the ass yet. But I think it's gonna come close here soon. I don't know if it's gonna do, if they're gonna do that for. Uh, the console itself because there was backlash for that stuff because it was confusing and I think their sales and stuff suffered because of it like and that's you had thing. to the, buy a the, yeah I so maybe they would have sold another to, 50 million like because the 3DS technically is a, is a, not a failure anymore it is a success because it has hit over that 50 million mark as far as lifetime console sales that's including every iteration of a yes but still, like that is a bunk way to do things. That whole new hardware aspect, and only release like two or three games that are actually exclusive to it. Fuck you, man! Like that's pretty rude. <laughs> yeah. And like, it's don't don't be don't be face. surprised when they do that with the Switch, because like I said, I'm this is more of will. a handheld model. If their handheld division and it's going to have smartphone game uh, support too, so you can I play know. Super Mario Run on your Switch. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of a mobile, you know. Phone well, and game. I, no, I don't care. I don't care what anybody but says. That game fucking sucks too. I can, don't care. They can do. It's okay. it's just a bare bones Mario game. It's not even a Mario game. I'm sorry. Mario games are about control, and you have absolutely no control game. So that's true. <laughs> like, like I, I, I never once though. felt like I was playing a Mario game so when I played it. So it does it does fall and, into and there's the like already clones that are better. <laughs> that, yeah, that figures. The fans take it and refine it. Okay, let's see. We got a release date on March third, twenty seventeen, which I am super excited for the release of the Zelda game. Like I am all for it, man, because the game looks awesome. I will buy it. I might even buy it day up. Breath, Breath of the Wild day one release. I don't know. They're that, banking that's, a lot on that. It's a hard ask, but yeah, that, and that game looks amazing. Don't get me wrong. I haven't been excited for a Zelda title in a while. I mean, since Ocarina probably time. Twilight of Prince. Twilight Princess. Well, Twilight Princess is technically, uh, I think, on paper is. The and it wasn't that I was let down, so. but it wasn't quite. The amazing experience that I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's still well, a great they, game. They did tote that right after it was because that was right after Wind Waker, and all the people backlashing on Wind Waker, but even though they loved it yeah. anyway, or whatever. But yeah, they wanted that. 
what they what the GameCube gave them at that tech demo so many years ago. Yeah, so that's another thing that Nintendo does. They keep, they keep making tech demos that are better than the goddamn games. <laughs> and then giving you tech demos with the games is suck ass. Like, I'm yeah. sorry, 1-2 Switch? Fuck you. Yeah, Fuck you, that's a tech a, demo that doesn't even... even co- like, I'm sorry, if that's a $60 release, you could kiss my ass. So three days, three games launch day, pretty much. Price point, two ninety nine, which is still bearable. Like, if, I mean, if they had gone 400 which is probably more or less what the hardware and technology is worth, there's probably a lot of stuff in there. I'm not saying, oh, no, I'm sure it's so, probably worth it. And remember, they always they always price their consoles to make a profit. Uh, so And it doesn't <laughs> seem to play in their favor in the no, long No, no, no. Well, and remember, that's why you think the 3DS actually eventually became a success. Because it flopped on its ass when it first released, and there was, like, flash... Uh, price reductions on that. That's thing. true. Well, that one like had slow momentum too, though. They need to stop banking on the whole momentum thing. They need to sell a lot and have a good bang up launch, like right out the gate. But remember, the Wii U did. The Wii U did the have a Wii- good, The Wii U did have a great launch that first year because there yeah. was no competition. There was nobody but else. Nobody was excited about the console, and the name was confusing. Like, um, regardless, that's the truth. Yes, that is. This time around, they have the marketing down as far as a much better strategy and much less confusing. But it still has much of the same feel. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I hear you on that. Like, they could have that. a great launch. They have to have sustain, and the sustain comes with not delaying Mario to 2018. Not. Not saying anything about the yeah, Pokemon game that people have been waiting for, what, 20-something years now? What is it? Almost 20 years now they've been waiting for a game they can play on their big fucking TV? Then it's not Pokemon Snap? Yeah, I don't know what they're... they're that seems to be some weird mistake, dude. They're just keeping Pokemon on mobile. Yeah. Like, portable, I mean. Like, I'm sorry, like... Maybe I would have played Pokemon games if they would have been on their actual. Consoles. There has to be some sort of strategy <laughs> to it, though. Because, like, you know, like so I mean, we got we got Pokemon Stadium, which is more or less Pokemon. Like, it's the it's an abridged version. It's, it's the not structure. An actual, yeah. It's not the JRPG version by any means, but it's an abridged version that people do you like. You could fight, and then you, you know, know they have like yeah. But, but I agree. At, at its core, release, it's a it's a turn based JRPG game. They need to release an <laughs> open world Pokemon game that JRPG, like full on with like an in depth. They should probably partner with, with Square Square Enix because Final Fantasy Fifteen, regardless of how I feel about yeah, it, is no knocking it out the park. That's true. Battery life, two and a half to six and a half hours. Like, with, where in the fuck do they get that? With most of them clocked Bro. at right there, three hours. Most games clocked at three hours. And yeah, it is, it's varies per game. So <laughs> a lot of the main games, they're probably going to clock in at about three hours. Unless right? you're playing the like smaller smartphone scale. games, I guess that's the six hour mark. And right then the there. smaller scale games mark in the six hour. That's, so, that's weird. That is weird. I agree that that is weird. I have a feeling there's going to be like a Nintendo made battery, ch- like mobile There's, battery yeah, chargers. I have a little note here that says they're probably going to do like a universal charger of some sort, right? They have to. They have to, or like... Th- that's where I'm telling you where the new models come in. The new Switch. <laughs> With the better well, battery I'm life. Sh- and the, I'm sure even third the, party. The better light, the, you know, the, the like the sliding scale so you can turn down your HD <laughs> scaling or some dumb shit like that. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, you save battery life by turning HD off. <laughs> or making the screen dimmer. Oh, yeah. Like well, something yeah, like that. People want to, There's know. that, too. <laughs> but no, I agree. I, I agree That's that's strange. Yeah, they they should find, they should have refined that a little bit more, but they'll probably find a way around it. Okay, but hold on, monthly free games. Uh, well, I actually found, From, I found I found an article. I don't know how credible it is. I'll have to find it later and maybe show it to you. But they did say yes, you get uh, access to one Nintendo and one Super Nintendo game a month. But you but do not own them, and it's you only refresh the access of the games. And every I think that's month. that's a mistake, dude. If, if they were just <laughs> if they were just like you know what our old you our own old game. library, Here you go. We're, we're Steam now. Our old library, <laughs> yeah. If they if they took the way of like the Xbox One, how they're bringing the 360 titles over, and if you already had it, it's already playable. It, oh, by like, the way, and so on and so forth. It's another thing. What did they not mention? Virtual console. <laughs> Why did they mention the virtual console? Why? Well, <laughs> if they're not going to be charging you for games you already own, like I'm. I'm no, fine the virtual console. You still have to have a place to play it, and they didn't mention one yeah. iota of a virtual console on their highly mobilized gaming unit. But don't you think most of the people complaining about that already have a way to play on the virtual console, though? Like, 
why wouldn't you want that in the all-in-one package that you can take everywhere, buddy? <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> like they I'm will. So, maybe they will do that somewhere down the line. And you want to know why people want that? It's because they have money invested in the virtual console from the Wii and the Wii U that they don't want to lose. Man. Backwards compatibility <laughs> wasn't announced officially, like right out the gate for Xbox One. Didn't that come a little later down the road? It's in development it was, that they actually put money towards. Because it's software that's running the Xbox 360 stuff. It's not actually uh, server built It's instruments. serverware. It's it's somewhere it's a server based side uh, emulation. Okay. Oh yeah, because it's like streaming. So yeah. so at that point, you really chose Nintendo with something like that, and like it took Microsoft's it engineers a long time to get it done, and they didn't yeah. know if it was if they possible. They tried and succeeded. They didn't go. Let's just do it now. They said, let's fit, let's see if we can give it a shot because they they honestly believed when they first came out with the Xbox One that it was not possible. Oh yeah, and I believe that. I believe that because I mean, for some reason. They're trying to steer away from it. Like, I'm sure Sony like could probably do the same thing, but it'd be even harder for Sony because how P different the PS3 was. I'm sure Sony engineers could fucking do it. I'm sure they could. Well, I mean, when you get a Blu-ray player, it can play DVDs. It's the same kind of, like, perspective that people are thinking about. Like, I don't understand why backwards compatibility is not, like, a thought on every developer's mind. Or, like, or, they, or any console's functionality. Like, I know it Nintendo should to be, Super Nintendo yeah, was it should always like, be a thought. Like, there's... Like, backwards compiled to be one that was ushered in by Nintendo. Like, actually, it was PlayStation. Sorry. In, in, a, in a perfect world, they should... Like, they have such a vast library from the NES and the SNES that they should have given us a free game that we can keep yeah, every oh month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would have... That alone... Maybe. Well, there's all oh, what if, dude. <laughs> you say you say you're not a fucking fanboy. It's like I'm a bad not, thing. I'm not, dude. I'm not. I'm not just a fanboy of Nintendo. I'm a I fanboy of video games. Of the games I love video when games. you were a kid. I know. I love I those games. I not, have them. I have most of those games <laughs> still as on the Super Nintendo. I'm just. Though. I'm just not biased. I'm just not. I'm not ready to give up. Bias. On I don't. There's no bias. I'm just uh, like a, take away of your emotional attachments to Nintendo, and they're not a good. Tech company, they're not. Not anymore. They no, haven't I agree been. with you. Dude, they, haven't been the, they haven't been since the 64. I'm sorry, the 64 is an inferior console at the time, and they only sold a third of what the PlayStation did. You're but confusing my like excitement. It's I'm not, not, I'm not like saying you can't be excited, and I can't. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like I'm not excited because I, I just don't see Nintendo making good on promises yet again. But I still love yeah. Nintendo. I, I'm sorry, I'm not going to get burned up front. I'm going to wait and see how it goes. Just like I did the, with the Wii U, and oh, I'm sorry I was right. Sorry. <laughs> well, in the end, though, you ended up buying each console. Not, I did not buy the Wii U. Oh, you didn't? Oh, yeah, you got to get it. It was given. Christmas. And motherfucking thank and you, you actually for giving it to me. For <laughs> getting a console. Because I'm not saying I didn't want the motherfucker. I'm just saying oh, yeah. it was never a practical buy. <laughs> and, dude, I'm definitely saying that they're, they're not making some great decisions here. And, like, like, in the perfect world, we would keep these... NES and SNES games, and maybe some down, someday down the road they'll they realize that. their mistake. Well, maybe when they actually go paid service, because the paid service isn't going to be installed right away. Yeah, it's going to be a monthly... It'll be a monthly paid service later on down the line. And if and it's I'm anything sure more than $60 a year, you're going to hear no end of that. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure they're... Because, I mean, Sony raised their price. <laughs> to 60 a year. Because Microsoft like, was it, setting the standard, but pretty much. Remember what we're talking about, Nintendo's bubble here. I know, but I'm hoping that Nintendo will <laughs> you know, take that example. Especially with that Pro with controller it. being 70 bucks. Like, you can yeah. get Xbox One and PS4 controllers for $50. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> okay, the accessories. The Joy-Con controllers are $79.99 for the pair, $49.99 individual. That is ridiculous. Yeah, that but is. if you think about it, if you take it into consideration, that's that's forty dollars a piece technically. The Pro Controller is seventy dollars. Yeah. The Joy-Con charging grip, which is the the middle piece that they connect into, that's twenty nine ninety nine. Isn't this the like? Like I'm telling you, that we're echoing the same problems with the Wii U. There's a whole bunch of shit you had to buy with it. Like, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. There's doing things a lot better in some regards, but like it just seems like okay. So we need the console. Okay, we got the console. Okay, we need a game because there's no packing game. Okay, we got the game. Okay, we now we need another set of Joy-Con controllers because we want to play with our friends over there. And well, fuck. Well, and now we want to play with the non-Joy Con controller because we like that Pro Pad and we want to make sure that we're playing. You know, the most traditional people way. don't. Most people don't necessarily have more than one or two controllers for a while, and it's just 
does technically come with two controllers out of the gate. Oh, I'm just saying, you could, like two controllers so, out of the gate. But if you actually wanted to play, like, when because like you could hook up, you could have eight switches connected wirelessly. If you wanted to do that with one switch and another yeah, switch, you have to have another of, set of Joy Cons or have the other person's set of Joy Cons with yeah, you. Yeah, and one of those articles you sent me, they were saying like all the hidden prices, all of the hidden prices that they they had for the switch. But I mean, those are more or less choices. Like you don't necessarily have to buy another controller. It already comes with one that is two controllers. Like you can play two player out of the gate with the Joy Con controllers. So like, I mean, I don't, I don't know how like how those are gonna be just by itself. I mean, it, you, it might be preferred that you have like the the set of two. <laughs> well, if it's gonna be a party, if it's gonna be a like, if you're gonna have somebody come over without a switch, then you're gonna need a set. Or you can give them that, and you can get a pro controller, which is you know that's another seventy dollars. Well, that's also another choice. Well, but like not even a choice that's like. Like it's a choice, yes, but most people are gonna have to make that choice because I'm sorry, playing with the Joy-Con controller or even that grip. Like I'm sorry, like <laughs> it's gonna be wonky. I I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna make any judgment yet, but yeah, it does look a little. It looks a little strange, but it looks better than. The um, yeah, well, I don't know, man. Like <laughs> uh, playing on the Wii U. Gamepad as of late with just games that play. The gamepad's on the not game that bad. Pad. Well, like I, yeah, I played that Star Fox game that everybody fucking hates, and I liked it for whatever reason. I thought it was okay. It is hard and it is kind of gimmicky, but well, uh, I'm, that, I'm not saying I want this to fail and I want Nintendo oh, to go no, away forever. Not. Like, okay, I, I I'm excited. Sound, I am excited for this. I know it doesn't sound like it. They are making some strange decisions, and I don't, <laughs> and I don't, I don't get it. But I'm not I'm not necessarily shut off to the idea quite yet. I'm not trying to buy into it as much as like the Wii U tried to get you, you know, because none of that stuff, more than half the stuff, like we said, didn't happen. So I'm not expecting half the stuff that they showed off in their little showcases to necessarily happen. But I'm gonna keep an open mind about it. And if they deliver on it, great. If they don't, well, then they're digging themselves even deeper into the hole that they've already dug themselves. I, I guess so. I guess it's a hole. <coughs> really. That just goes back to the the bubble and the, I guess the idea of stubborn culture that they come from. I don't know if that's racist or whatever, but <laughs> I guess it could be viewed as racist. But um, like, they're a fantastic game making company. I love their games. Their games bring such joy to me. Uh, their hardware is fucking awful, and they should stop doing it. Um, I know their hand handheld hardware is really good for a lot of people that buy them, and they are successful. But they're still actually inferior stuff to their outdated stuff and what and whatnot. But just truly think, even if they partnered with one or the other, or even just uh, let it be full spec PC, just think of what they could do on the hardware that's standard for every game to come out. This. They would make the best games in the world, man. They would That's be true. better. They would be bigger than Blizzard. They'd be bigger than Blizzard Activision. They'd be bigger, bigger than EA. They'd be bigger than them. And it, but that's the thing. That's what. That's why everybody is so happy about this sort of thing. Is because they are going their traditional, uh, off the cuff, not by spec, Nintendo approach. And I still think it's going to be um, the super hardcore that are invested, and they're. They're not going to bring in the person that can get the, the very best games on either console or PC because uh, they won't be there. Like, they'll be there in a different way, you know, but they won't be there. Well, I think the console is as powerful as it needs to be right now for them. I mean, it is a matter of opinion whether or not it should be more powerful because especially to compete with the other consoles, which completely overshadow them. Right. I mean, there, that's that's there's no question in that. Well, but you can't there's you can't deny that Mario Odyssey looks beautiful. I'm not Zelda saying, but you know, they probably beautiful. designed it, and maybe you don't know if those trailers are running on Switch technology, because a lot of times yeah. trailers are running they on PCs to do the that's best true. possible visuals. Is and Nintendo, if that's the case, that's what I'm talking about. Is Nintendo really guilty of that, though? I mean, they're. they're I don't know if Ubisoft. Nintendo's guilty of that or not. I'm just saying, who knows at this point? I'm saying there has been companies that are guilty of that if, that have done that before. If they pull a Watch Dogs, that would yeah, like, be. Like, let's that find, let's find out what it actually looks like on the Switch. That's, That's another true. thing, too. Let's, but, let's, I mean, Mario Galaxy looked great, and that was in HD. 
But who you don't know if that's running on Switch technology? Well, no, Mario Galaxy, the ones for Wii. Uh, the Wii, yeah, no, the that, that, that they look good too, but they did not look like Mario Odyssey. That's not true. even close to looking like Mario. Odyssey. Well, and, and, that's, and those are that's two generations. And you can make a difference. cartoon look good without HD. We've been doing it for years. That's true, <laughs> and they're they're good at it. They're pretty fucking good at it. So I'm hoping that they use what they have. And it, like if they if it looks even half as good as what Mario Odyssey did look like in the trailer, dude. It was really shiny. Breath of the Wind or Breath of the Wild looks really, really shiny. So, and this is still early stuff. Well, Mario, I guess, is later. Dude, year, this is still. like um, two months. So that's still two months. That this shit. If it out. does well enough, they have time to refine it. I mean, but okay. All that being said, mine's pre-ordered. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I know why though. That's why. But I was gonna say, like, yeah. why would you ever want to do that with the game console launch? It's dumb. There's no games. Uh, there's usually better models coming out later. La, 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 la. I didn't do that because I know why. You know, but it's good though. Like I'm with you. I actually, uh, that's why you know I sent you earlier about the whole NES Classic thing and how they came out and just said, you know, we always go under quota, so it creates buzz and hype. And no matter when there's one visible, it's gone. And that's fine. That's a good business practice. And I'm not saying I wouldn't do that if I owned a business. I'm I don't want to be months me behind off. of everybody else. I mean, I could get Breath with the, the Switch. Yes, yeah. so obviously with anything else, it's no big deal. But yeah, the Switch, as far as like content and the things that we have to do with it, and the things that you want to do with it, and, like Switch can technically be touted as the party console where you can hold parties just to play Switch games and stuff like that. So you know, we could have a lot of video content with it. So how much was the pre-order? Fifty dollars. <laughs> so technically, it will be two hundred and fifty dollars when I go pick yeah, it up. After you already spent it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your freeze order at? Over at the the GameStop on uh, Houston Circle by Walmart. Are you gonna go midnight really soon? <laughs> I don't see. I almost. I just wanted to make sure that I had one this time because Did you try to pre-order Christmas a morning. Instead of getting a Wii, I got a gift card for the amount that a Wii would add up to. I had to wait three months to get a Wii. Oh, this is back when I the still, Wii came out? Yeah. Well, I still the, can't fucking find an NES Classic. So, this that's fucking ridiculous, dude. I'm making sure with what we're trying to do with the channels. I, stuff, no, I, that's that's why I haven't given you much. That's why I didn't, I didn't send you certain texts. I had all texted out. Because uh, I know why you're doing it. I know why you pre-order any of this stuff and you're going to get this console. Because it's going to help the, the channel. And it's going to help what we're doing. And it's, it's still going to be fun. Like I'm not going to say it's not yeah, fun. There's going to be there's going to be ups and downs. <laughs> with but the it, Dreamcast but was fun too, damn it. <laughs> and the Dreamcast was a hot commodity for two and a half years. Yeah, I, I just don't want to be months behind like everybody. Like I mean, I could probably get Zelda on the Wii U and be fine for a while because it doesn't look like fucking anything's coming out for a while. I was just saying like <laughs> their, their best launch game is also coming out. For but them. still, I mean, uh, uh, don't, don't be surprised if it sells better on the Wii U. <laughs> and did you hear about the whole possibility of VR? No, I didn't hear on the that. switch, yeah, there was a um, like a patent that was taken by Nintendo. Oh, I, I did hear about that. I'm sorry. Yes, that but for a VR headset that the, the the thing would fit into, but I don't know if the technology is meant for that, so it remains to be seen. I mean, they did pretty good 3D with the 3DS. I'm super jaded with 3DS. So we'll have to see. If, well, the 3DS is like in like certain do. like certain measurements and increments and like yeah, yeah it's, it's designed, designed for it. Uh, I, the 3DS works because you didn't have to wear something on your face. You know, you can see it just by naturally looking at it, and that's big. And once VR can do that, <laughs> we're in business. <laughs>